Well, oh, good morning, and we're up for a walk up Grisdale Pike and some landscape photography. Why not come with me? Well, good morning. And you find me out for a, a walk, a definite walk today. I've been on an hour in where to go. Um, and I suddenly thought, how about we go up Grisdale Pike? It's not an area I'm particularly over familiar with, although I have been up Grisdale Pike. So the idea is to go up to the top of Grisdale Pike, I've parked at, at Braithwaite, up to the top, then along the ridge a little bit, then back down to Coldale Halls, and then from there we'll come back down to Force Crag Mine, and then along the path back to Braithwaite. So hopefully the forecast is quite good, certainly to be dry, which is nice. And hopefully we'll have some clear skies to get some nice views. Um, it's not particularly, I think there might be near cold view, cold ale pause, there might be some waterfalls according to the map. So yeah, but um, it's a little while since I've been up this high, although we're not high at the moment, but um, Grisdale Pike is not quite, but getting on to, which for the Lake District is quite high, 800 metres. Um, for some people, some places in the world, that's nothing, but for around here, it is quite a bit. And Braithwaite is probably only about 20, 30 metres, so we're climbing up the whole way. As you can probably tell from my breath, <laughs> this path is, well, it's either this path is quite steep or I'm um, getting unfit. But we do need to get out more to these places. So, yeah, I'll stop rambling there. I'll carry on to the top and we'll see you a little bit later. Right, well we've made it to the top of Grisdale Pike and I thought I'd just um, go around showing you what we can see. Now there in front of us is Winlatter and the top of the, the actual mountain or hill is a bit difficult to, to work out but it is Wainwright. Behind it, um, what I will do on the video, I'll put pointers to it, what's what. Um, behind it there we've got Bath and then just coming round to the left we've got um, Lord's Seat and as we come further round I think it's Greystones and we can see in the background that uh, we've got the Solway Firth and Scotland and the views from here are quite quite good and then as we come round got Hope Gill something, um, Hope Gill Head is it, over there, and um, that's where we're going to head and then we're going to drop down the 
between now, but the big one in the background that you can see there is Grassmoor. And if we come um, a bit further around, we've got Eel Crag and Cra Crag Hill, which is actually taller than than where we are now. And then I think it's Sail coming around there. And then we come around and we've got Scar Crags and we've got Causey Pike and then just in front of Causey Pike we've got Outer Side and if we come over here we've got um, Barrow and obviously you can see there is Derwent Water and behind it we've got Waller Crag which um, was two videos ago I went at Waller Crag and Falcon Crag I'll maybe try and point those out and then we've got Bleabury Fell etc and behind we've got the Helvellyn range and if we come round this way over in that direction in the far one we've got Blencathra and then coming round we've got the mighty Skidder which is obviously both Blencathra and Skidder are taller than this and Skidder is over um, 3,000 feet and talking of height this is just over two and a half thousand feet so that's quite good so all right we'll have a wander around I don't think we'll be taking any images here we'll do a bit of a, a mooch around but um, hopefully we'll get some nice images elsewhere I might get the camera out and see if there is anything but I have a feeling Although it's very beautiful and it's brilliant to look around, it's not particularly photogenic, I don't think. I don't know. We'll get the camera out and see what we can do. Um, and if we get anything, we'll put it up on the video. And we'll see you a bit later. Right, well, we've made it to Hope Gill Head and you can see, looking there, there's Grisdale Pike that we've come from and the path we've come along is along there. So, and if we look this way, um, the path going down there, that's called um, Ladies Pike. And if we come round here, Uh, that is white side and you should just be able to see at the bottom there just a bit that's crummock water 
and obviously as we've said before this big mountain here is a grass moor and um, I've forgotten the name of this little one here but we're just going to go over the top of that and then down to the Coldale Hawes um, and hopefully there's some some waterfalls on the rivers there that we might get some nice images. I did take some handheld images from the top of Grisdale Pike. Um, if you were any good you'll have seen those um, but I'm not feeling inspired from the top of here so um, we'll just carry on and hopefully we'll get some nice cascades, waterfalls to get some nice images before we start to head back. So yeah we'll see you shortly. Right, well we've come up with our first composition at the waterfalls here. And you see we've got the camera here and the waterfalls behind. Now I'm only taking the top, probably top half, and I've actually stopped the, the image so there's no sky because that was causing problems because the sky is very bright. And when the sun shines on the waterfall it's very bright. I mean, if we look at the back of the camera, we'll see there the, um, the composition. And what I'm proposing, I haven't actually done it in camera, but I'm probably proposing doing it um, instead of a 6 before, which it normally is, doing it um, a 5 before or a 4 by 3 So it just narrows it in a bit and concentrates on, on the waterfall. I have taken images at the normal speed and at um, a slower shutter speed using um, which one was it oh, yeah, a three stop ND filter yeah I think it's quite good what I am going to do is I'm going to get the long lens and I'm going to zoom in on part of it and just get some intimate um, images of parts of the waterfall probably with a slow shutter speed that I think will look quite good so obviously if they're any good we'll put them up on the video after this and then we're going to head off to Force Crag um, Mill, no Force Crag Mine and then back to the van. So anyway we'll see you a little bit later.
Right, we're on our, the path on the way down and we've come near Force Crag Mine. And unfortunately, a combination of things. Um, yeah, you can, you can see the mine in front of us there. The path that I'm taking, there's no path across there. The path, uh, I don't know whether we'll be able to see it, goes along there to cross the river down that way and then I'd have to walk back and with these big walks I always forget how long some of these things take so so yeah we're not gonna go down we're just gonna carry on the path back to the van but I may put up because uh, I have been here once before probably about two three years ago it's one of the first places I came with the drone so if, if I can find the footage, I'll maybe put just a little bit of footage up to give you some idea about it. But I, in the end screen, I will put a link to the um, the video I did put up about Force Crag Mines. So yeah, it's a shame. If the path had gone straight through, I was thinking of getting the drone up to, to try and get some of those images of the, the waterfalls that are over there. but. Um, it's not to be today, but as I say, I'll put a little bit up from when we were, when I was here before, and we'll head off back to the van, and we'll see you a little bit later. Right, we're on our way back to the van now. Yeah, it's been quite a good day. Quite tiring. I'm very um. Yeah, very tired. I can't remember the last time I actually went up that high. It's probably when I went up to Glaramara, which was was last year sometime. So yeah, I'm out of out of practice. So it did take a little bit longer. I mean, I reckon by the time we get back to the van, we'll have done somewhere like seven to eight miles. Um, I will put the map up from the um, from the GPS, and it'll probably be in out about seven hours as well. I mean, one mile an hour may sound <laughs> quite slow, but that's the that's the actual average moving time. Uh, ab no, average speed overall, including including stops. The actual moving time is, is quicker but it's still not a huge amount quicker so but yeah it's been a good day uh, just a shame that um, we didn't get to force crag mine we saw it there but if the path had gone more or less through it I would have stopped to take some pictures but with um, with the path had been quite it would have been quite a detail to go back and you know to practice things have taken a bit longer so I think I've got some good handheld images from well um, yeah the two the two high points um, Grisdale Pike and um, whatever the other one was the name is <laughs> so, you know, and I've got some nice ones I, I hope I think I have of that that waterfall at um, Coldale Horse. So, yeah, it's been it's been a good day. I think I just need to try and allow for this type of thing. Try and allow a bit more time. I mean, now we've got later nights. Maybe we need to say I'll, I'll sort my own tea out so I can then get back whatever time suits rather than having to. To rush back for a particular time but what, what's coming up now is Tuesday and this um, all being well this will be going up on Sunday but on Saturday getting up very early because we've got a meet up from um, one or two of the Facebook groups that I'm part of photographic groups that I'm part of for a meet up and the meet up is for sunrise but it is in Crow Park, which is in Keswick, so, 
So that's quite good for me. It means I can more or less just not quite roll out of bed and go. I mean, I'm still going to have to get up extremely early for me. I mean, sunrise is something like six o'clock, so need to be leaving the house rarely at five. Stand a good chance of getting there um, to get there and sorted before before sunrise. I'm not quite sure what the forecast is, but we'll see. So there's that coming up, and I still have in mind to do a couple of sort of random review type videos that I will post midweek and, and that so but I was thinking the I'll try and vlog the the meetup at Crow Park and round Doe and Water and that should create a video for the the following week um, I just need to work out what we're going to do for the other ones so yeah that's what the plans are just to remind any people if you've enjoyed the video please click the thumbs up and if you really like what I'm doing, why not, if you haven't already, and for those that have, thank you very, very much, why not subscribe? It all helps with the algorithm to, to get the videos noticed, and hopefully the channel can grow and then more people will benefit. I mean, obviously some people, if it fills a need somewhere, or oh, nobody will be watching, so, yeah, the last one has gone down quite well. Although it was a fairly short one because of time pressures, but yeah, so I'll bear that all in mind. So yeah, I'll stop rambling and we'll see you on the next video.